we made what both sides are acknowledging as considerable and discernible progress. As we sit here now, what we've got in place is we have an avian influenza certificate already issued on our side. We have in place the uh, rules for the administration of the tariff quota, at least in, the, in an interim arrangement. Uh, that was published in the Government Gazette on the 18th of December. We have, uh, to a very large extent, and I think uh, we can say for all practical purposes, concluded on the pork issue. On the beef, the issue that arose was uh, the question of beef, is it just for beef that is born and bred in the United States? Or is it for beef that comes in from neighboring countries into the United States? And there seems to be, uh, uh, well, we have submitted a proposal, we are waiting to hear the answer to, uh, that beef that comes in from neighboring countries, which has been part of the United States herd for 90 days, uh, that, uh, that beef uh, uh, will qualify uh, after a quarantine period of 90 days, that will qualify uh, as though it was born and bred in the United States. The outstanding matter, is the question of salmonella. And there have been a lot of interactions between our veterinary authorities on the question of salmonella. Uh, and uh, well, uh, really the levels uh, of tolerance for salmonella and the procedures for the detection uh, of, uh, or the procedures that would follow the detection uh, of, uh, of any uh, salmonella. Uh, we were given an indicative date to conclude all of this on the 31st of December. Uh, although our authorities on both sides had been interacting and we have been interacting as well uh, throughout this period and that there was a meeting indeed on the 31st of December, uh, they did not conclude. Uh, we are waiting a, a, a response on the, on the uh, proposal on the beef and we are still engaged in further discussions. There have been various questions posed to the United States on the salmonella issue for which we are waiting an answer and looking for an outcome on that. So as we sit now, we are recognizing that we are in extra time, uh, that we uh, are now uh, past full time, if you like, we're in extra time, but the whistle hasn't as of this moment been blown and we are hoping that the whistle will not be blown uh, to give our um, veterinary authorities on both sides an opportunity to engage again. They have a meeting planned for the 6th uh, and uh, the work will continue uh, whether the whistle is blown or not because uh, the consequences of the whistle being blown would be that uh, certain products that are currently uh, in joint access under a GOA, and those are the agricultural products, uh, would be excluded. Uh, and uh, we'd have to see the terms of that exclusion. So it would be a partial exclusion uh, from AGOA benefits for a period of time. And if we still did not find a solution, uh, then uh, that would be ramped up, uh, with our understanding. Uh, but we're also told that if there is a partial exclusion and we then do reach an agreement, uh, there can be a very quick uh, reversal uh, of uh, any orders uh, which may be uh, uh, arising at that time. Mm -hmm.